Hey lovelies, um, back again. I've got today some oxtail, which I'm going to show you guys how I cook in detail. Uh, you know, some of you may already have seen the video of how to season the oxtail. If you haven't, I will link it below because I'm not going to go too much in depth about how I season it today because there's already a video. So I'm just gonna show you how I cook it today. But before that, I'm gonna do a brief recap. So this is my oxtail in the bowl. I've literally gone to the butchers, just got them to cut up one towel for me and um, got them to do it really small because if you get it in bigger pieces, it will be longer to cook them. So get them to cut it small pieces and then you should be on your way so that's my oxtail i've got in there yes i have already washed it and everything and it's in the bowl now so i'm just gonna add my seasoning into the bowl with the oxtail i'm not gonna go in and tell you exactly what's on here you guys there is a video where i show you exactly what i put in there already so i will leave that for you I'm just going to go in and just mix this all in. Separate the onions a bit. Guys, I hope you all are staying indoors and keeping safe for all this madness that's going on. So many people dying, true or not, whether you believe in it or not. You know, it's best to just stay safe rather than test the waters and end up being sorry. So that's that. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to put in my dry seasoning now. Just make sure that you wash your hands properly. You don't want any meat to go on anything else in your kitchen and just be sat there. So please just wash your hands properly. Like I said, I'm not going to go over how much of what I've put in because I've already done a video explaining all of this. I'm just going to do it how I usually do it when I'm not doing videos for you guys because I can do it by eye. Right guys, so I'm going to add in my browning and my pickup pepper sauce now. You don't need too much of them because your meat will come out looking black. You only need a tiny bit of the pickup pepper sauce. It's got a very strong flavour. Just going to wash off my hands so I've got a bit of browning on my gloves. so once that's in you mix it all in and then you add in your butter beans after that so I'm just gonna mix it in add in my butter beans and then we'll move on to the next step if you feel like you want uh, more browning or more of any other ingredient than what I've put in my other tutorial for seasoning then please feel free to do so if you like more onions, if you like more garlic, it's totally up to you guys. Freestyle it how you want it. It's your food, like I always say. Guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, then good to have you back as always. So... That's that. I'm going to add in the butter beans now. I have them in this bowl. I wash them off and drain them. So I had them prepared from earlier. I'm just going to mix these in now. Guys, all I'm going to do is just let all of this marinade in together. 
so that when it's time to cook everything has the flavors already sunk into them so I don't need to do too much work that's one mistake people make they don't actually marinate their meat and everything together and give it enough time to soak in they literally just do the bare minimum to get maximum flavor you have to put in a bit of work obviously if your diet requires you to do differently then by all means please follow those guidelines however if not believe me the amount of stuff that I've put in here will not harm you in any way shape or form trust me so that's that I'm going to go off wash my hands and then show you guys the next step okay loves so finished up with seasoned oxtail and all of that it's had its time to marinate and everything so now I've got on here a pot big enough to accommodate my oxtail you need to remember guys it doesn't just need to fit in the pot it also needs to have space to be mixed and all of that and you're going to be cooking it for a long time so be prepared it's going to take probably more than two hours if you want to get it that nice falling off the bone juicy thing going on um you need to give it about two hours minimum okay sometimes it might take more time it all depends on the butchers that you've gone to and what kind of meat they have access to so please do bear that in mind you need to set aside a lot of time to cook oxtail it does not happen in 20 minutes please so I've got on here a pot big enough to cook the oxtail be able to mix it around in and all of that with some sunflower oil in there guys use whatever oil you want to use that's just what I use so you can use vegetable oil olive oil whatever you want to use it's up to you so you want to get that pot nice and hot and then once it's nice and hot you're going to want to start dropping your meat in okay so you can test if you're not sure if it's hot enough you can test it by just putting in one piece of meat there you go it's sizzling so you know it's ready to go I tried to clean my glass because the hole went in the other one I was scrubbing my leg for <laughs> So all I'm doing is separating the meat from the butter beans and the seasoning. By seasoning, I don't mean the powder seasoning. Obviously, that stays on there. I'm talking about the onion, pepper, and all of that. So I'm just literally taking out the pieces of meat and putting them in the pan. Guys, please make sure you use a decent quality pot to do these things because some of them will burn and then your meat will be tasting like a hot mess. So you need to make sure you've got a decent quality pot, preferably a non-stick pot that can withstand the journey of cooking oxtail. You don't have to use your hands guys, you don't have gloves, you can use a fork and um, it will take a bit longer if you're using a fork to do this. So just think of all of those things before you choose your method. The most important bit about cooking oxtail is just to monitor it and make sure you're chopping up the water as it goes along so that it is not going to burn, stick to the pot or any of that.
and make sure your kettle is filled and has hot water at all times whilst you are cooking up still because you will need to top up the water quite a bit as you can imagine if it's going to be cooking for more than two hours it's going to use up a lot of water so just please keep your kettle filled and ready to go i already boiled mine earlier i'm obviously not going to show you guys how to boil water <laughs> If you're not using a kettle, guys, I know some people don't use kettles for health reasons or whatever. Um, obviously, make sure you've got a large cup on the fire ready to go with hot water. And then you could just probably use a smaller bowl or something to take the water out of the pot and into your oxtail pot. So that's all in there now. So I'm just going to wash my So I've got my spoon here, going to mix it up. That's when you're adding the water as well, you don't want to put a whole sea of water into your oxtail. You literally just want to top it up so that it covers your oxtail. And it can put down in there. Alright guys, so I'm just going to get my kettle now, top up the water and then cover it up and just let it let it do its thing. Alright guys, so you just wanna Add your water until it covers your meat, like I said. And then you want to leave it to cook. So I've literally just used just over a litre of water to cover my meat. Alright guys, so with that, just give it another little mix. Don't worry about how your meat looks at the moment. It, it's not going to look too pleasant. But once everything is all cooked and all of it, it will look much better, I promise. <laughs> right, so that's that. Cover it down, leave it on a high heat, let it do its thing. So I'm just gonna let that cook and then I will show you when I'm topping it up again. All right, loves, so the meat has been cooking for half an hour now I'm just going to take off the lid give it a little mix and then see if I need to top up water now so I can already see that I need to top up the water that's in the pot so I'm just going to mix it up as you can see it's not sticking or anything it's perfectly fine this is in the pot it's got a there you go so smells so good I'm not even gonna lie to you guys honestly so I'm just gonna get my kettle and top up the water again so that it covers the meat you children had one job literally to keep quiet so the meat is covered just going to give this a mix And you're gonna put your lid back on your pot leave it again still on a high heat all right that's the most important bit make sure that you're basically boiling the oxtail 
so it needs to stay on the hot on a high heat so that it's nice and hot and just bubbling away so I'm gonna cover that back down and then leave it again for another half an hour and come back to you guys Hey lovely people, so it's been another half an hour, so I'm just going to take off the pot cover and check what's going on in this pot. Guys, if you've got one of the pots that I'm using, the pot cover does get really hot, so make sure you have a dishcloth or something to be able to hold the pot cover when you're taking it off so this is where we're at let me give you a bit of light you want to see that it's daylight outside but the way how the lighting is up in this house is ridiculous so yeah so there you go guys yeah make you this close so that's where we're at so far so that's just over an hour's worth of cooking. All right. And as you can see, we're still not there yet. The meat is still slightly tough. And if you take it out and try to eat it now, it's going to be really chewy. So I'm just going to add some more water to this. Remember guys, keep filling your kettle and boiling it. And then you just want to top up just above the meat so it's covered. That's it. I'm going to give it a mix. And then we're going to leave it to cook some more and reduce down. So I'm going to leave it for probably 40 minutes this time. And then see what is going on with it. Right guys, so... I'm going to leave it for 40 minutes now, let it do its thing, and then come back. Right, so it's been 40 minutes now, and it has reduced quite a bit. But it's not sticking and it's not burning, so as you can see there. So it's literally not started burning and it hasn't stuck to the pot so it's good to cook for 40 minutes as it's still not where i'd like it to be as you can see i'll show you these there looking better but i would like it to cook a bit more so i'm going to fill one more time and leave it for another 40 minutes and then after that i'm gonna do the next bit of it so let me just top this up Okay, so this is topped up now so I'm going to leave it for another 40 minutes but I'm going to keep my eye on it because I haven't put as much water as I did the first times I did it um, so I'm just going to leave it for 20, check on it and then come back you might need to top it up a slight amount but this is the phase just before you start putting in your seasons like your onion and stuff like that and your butter beans so you don't want to top it up too much because then you'll have too much water to actually cook down and reduce when you get to the point of making your gravy and stuff so you literally just want to barely cover your meat so it's it's in the water whatever you want to call it um and it's cooking it's just that it's not covered completely so that's all i'm just going to cover it down leave it for 20 check on it and then see if I need to top it up a bit more and then leave it for another 20. So I'll be back in 20. All right, love. So whilst you're waiting on the oxtail to cook for the last 40 minutes, you're going to want to 
sort out your bowl so this is the bowl that we had the butter beans onion tomato pepper all of that in um and then you're just literally going to add your sauces to this and just give it a good little mix and let it marinate all together so that when you transfer it over into your oxtail everything is ready and raring okay so i've got my serving spoon here that i've been using to do the oxtail just to mix it so it's one of the big ones so i'm just going to do three of those with ketchup any normal ketchup will do you don't need to use a special type of ketchup or anything guys i don't know what is up with these ketchups and the nose that they want to make i've tried a different bottle for you guys to see if it would work without making any noise but clearly it's not so i've got now two different bottles of ketchup open literally guys you can see that it's like full and it is just making up a ton load of noise i don't know what that's about so yeah so three seven spoons with ketchup and then i'm going to do one and a half with hp sauce Okay, guys so literally that's it so i'm gonna show you this is the one i'm using just normal hp sauce if you can't get this one use whatever sauce you can get i believe they also call it brown sauce in some shops so yeah look out for it so i'm literally just gonna mix this all together and just leave it there to just soak in like I said you're gonna use this to create your gravy in the end so just wanna get it all mixed in nice okay right, so you're just gonna leave this to sit for the 30 minutes that's left however long you have on your clock if you want to do it before i've done it that's up to you if you want to do it as soon as you put the meat in the pot that is totally up to you guys there's no right or wrong way to do this bit yeah so do it as you please so i'm going to leave this now and then i'm going to check on my oxtail because it's been 20 minutes so i'm going to show you guys that bit all right love so just gonna check now after the 20 minutes right so it's reduced down quite a bit so i'm going to add some more water to it just gonna give it a little mix first see what's going on so it's not burning hasn't stuck to the bottom or any of that Guys, so as you can see already it's starting to look real good okay so there you go but it's still not ready to come off of the stove as yet so i'm going to top it up with water again give it another 20 minutes like i said i was going to earlier and then after that then we should be all right to put in our seasoning and everything and then cook it down for the further 15 to 20 minutes and then it should be good to come off the stove but for now i'm going to just top it up mix it and then leave it for a further 20 minutes As this smells so good even without the seasoning and everything in the pot yet it just smells too good literally so there you have it cover it back down leave it turn the heat back up to her heat i just turned it down so i could check it properly and add in the water and everything because i didn't want it to dry out completely 
so I'm putting it back on a high heat guys I've constantly been cooking it on a high heat I just literally turned it down that time because I didn't want it to burn by the time I actually turned on the camera and got the right angle and everything for you guys so just bear that in mind it was on the high heat and it's always been on the high heat I just did it for that moment so it's back on the high heat now boiling away as you can see and I'm just going to leave it for another 20 minutes and come back to you right lovely so that 20 minutes is up so I'm just going to show you guys that is where we are at okay so now once I've got it at this stage guys every butcher's meat is different so at the moment I can look at this and see that it is fine now I can stop doing the boiling process and I can literally start to add in my seasoning and cook it down okay so you can at this point actually just cut off a tiny piece of the meat and taste it to see whether it's still chewy or if it's tough or whatever if it doesn't come off easily then chances are it's probably chewy or it's still a bit tough so you want to leave it on and top it up some more until it actually gets to the point where it's not too chewy and it's not tough but it's not falling off the bone yet if you get what I mean so at the moment this is what I'm working with yeah so it's completely reduced down now so I'm just going to add the seasonings butter bean and all that from earlier into the pot no special way just add it in Once that is all in, you just want to mix it all up and then make sure you have water in your kettle as well. So guys. Right, so you just want to mix it in. Apologies for that. And then this is the stage where you literally cook your meat down and cook your butter beans your seasoning and everything so once it's finished you shouldn't really be able to tell the difference between an onion and a piece of tomato it should literally all just be cooked down into the gravy okay so i've done it again just covered the meat with the water and for this stage i'm not going to have it on the highest heat possible i'm going to turn it down to a medium heat and I'm just going to leave it to cook until the meat is perfectly cooked so I'll probably say I'll leave it for another 15 minutes because you have to remember now you've got in your ketchup and all of that so it will thicken a lot quicker so I'm going to leave it for 15 minutes and then come back and show you guys where it's at alright so it's been 15 minutes I'm just going to check on it As it's thickening out, forming the gravy and cooking down, it will start to stick to the pot, which is why I said I'm going to start checking it every 15 minutes now. Because you don't want it to burn or anything like that. So I'm literally just going to give it a good mix and then cover it back down, cook it for a further 15 minutes and then check in on it. Okay, so I'm going to cover the pot back, 
and then give it another 15 minutes. You guys, it's been 20 minutes, so yeah, it was meant to be 15, but I had to stop and have a conversation with the cutest eight month old that ever was there, aside from my other babies. <laughs> She's decided today, mommy, you ain't doing no video. We gonna play and we gonna talk. So guys, this is where we are at. 20 minutes later. It smells and looks amazing. Let's zoom y'all in. Let me just take some up and show y'all. Who you working with. Yummy guys. As you can see guys, the onions and everything are starting to just disappear in the gravy, tomatoes and all of that. So I'm just going to leave it to cook for a little while longer guys because I want all of those seasonings to cook down until they're basically forming a paste and thickening up the gravy even more it's thick enough but I just want it to be cooked down a bit more so guys the meat is ready to go like it's literally falling apart now so it's easy to cut into it so that's the inside of one there I've cut it oh, I see it As it's not trying to focus and give y'all a clear shot of what's going on so yeah but y'all get the gist obviously you will be making your own so you will see everything as it's happening guys so like I said I'm gonna let it cook for another five minutes I'm gonna just put a tiny bit of water in there just so that it doesn't stick to the bottom and burn whilst it's cooking for the further five minutes. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water. Okay. Just gonna let it cook down a bit more and then once this has cooked down, then I'll be good to turn off the stove. So I'll come back and show you guys where we at. Literally, I think I've been at this for over three hours now, and it is a very long process. So, if you're not ready to put in some hours, I wouldn't suggest oxtail, probably try curry chicken or brown stew chicken or I don't know, something else, but just not oxtail. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that for five minutes. I'm gonna turn it up to you. I hate and then get back to it and show you guys right so that five minutes has now gone it's been on a high heat cooking for another five minutes mix it up and this literally is about perfect okay so as you guys can see, meat is just voluntarily falling off the bone. That is a butter bone. Alright, so the meat is just literally falling off the bone. Doing the same thing. So we'll cook down. Gravy is nice and thick. And looking good. So guys, that's how you do the box there. Okay. If you need any further instructions or you didn't understand something please feel free guys to either comment send me an email my email address is down below um, or you can find me on Instagram and send me a message ask any questions if you want to send any video requests or anything like that guys feel free to message it to me email it to me comment down below do whatever you want just let me know if there's anything in particular that you want 
um, as always guys I do have the list of everything that has been requested for me to do tutorials for and I will do all of them I'm going through them one by one guys so I'll get that done and um, obviously you know those of you who have been here for a while you've heard my children in the background I say children but they're all under five so you've heard my babies in the background so you guys know that I've got my hands full so do bear with me I am getting through them and I will get all of them done for you sooner rather than later okay so guys stay safe enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you're a returning subscriber thank you as always love you guys bless you and I'll see you soon right guys so this is the completed meal got my oxtail there rice and peas I've done a bit of spinach with it and some fried plantain so that is it done and on the plate as so literally if you follow through with the recipe you'll be fine like I said before some oxtail might take longer to cook than others but you just have to judge using the methods that I've given you